This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for June 6. As we celebrate Saint Norbert's Day, Saint Norbert was born around the year 1080 in Xanten, Germany. His father was a member of the nobility of the Holy Roman Empire. Norbert lived a worldly lifestyle during his youth. When he was an adult, his family's influence helped him obtain a payment to become a subdeacon. Though his one main job in this role was to chant the divine office, he apparently paid someone else to do it so that he could become a chaplain to Henry V and be paid an additional salary. With his two salaries, Norbert lived like the nobility did. He purposefully avoided being ordained a priest and gave up the opportunity to become a bishop because he wanted to avoid the religious responsibilities of those roles. One day when Norbert was riding, he became stuck in a sudden thunderstorm. As lightning frightened his horse, he fell to the ground and was knocked unconscious. He lay on the ground, soaked in rain. When he regained consciousness, his first words were, Lord, what do you want me to do? In his heart, he heard the answer, turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. After this, Norbert left his life at court and returned to Xanten. There, he devoted his life to prayer and penance. He also chose to study for the priesthood. In 1115, he was ordained a priest. Norbert's conversion of heart caused many to accuse him of hypocrisy. Norbert did not defend himself but instead gave away his possessions. He also asked the Pope for permission to preach. When he was granted this permission, he began to travel throughout Europe as a preacher. Norbert brought two companions with him on his travels. But as he practiced penance by walking barefoot through the snow and ice in winter, his two companions eventually died from exposure. Norbert gradually began to earn the respect of his fellow clergy. The Bishop of Laon asked Norbert to help reform the canons in his diocese, but the canons thought Norbert's ideas of reform were too strict. The bishop then offered Norbert land where he could establish his own religious community. Norbert's community began with 13 canons, but he soon attracted many more followers. He eventually established eight abbeys and two convents. Soon, a count asked to join Norbert's abbey, but Norbert saw that this count was called to marriage and lay life. Rather than reject the count, Norbert gave him devotions, a rule, and a scapula to wear so that the count could be identified as part of the community. Norbert was eventually made Bishop of Magdeburg. He continued his work of reform in his diocese. After the death of Pope Honorius II, two rivals were both claiming to be Pope. Norbert did all he could to help heal the church and eventually helped ensure that the man elected first was recognized as the true pope. Norbert was made an archbishop. Near the end of his life, he died in 1134 when he was 53 years old. Saint Norbert's feast day is June 6. Why pray the Saint Norbert Novena? Saint Norbert is the patron saint of the modern-day Czech Republic formerly the Kingdom of Bohemia. You can ask him to pray for you if you live in the Czech Republic, are from the Czech Republic, or are planning to travel to the Czech Republic. You can also ask him to pray for someone you know in the Czech Republic, or you can ask him to pray for the government of the Czech Republic. Saint Norbert is also the patron saint of safe childbirth. You can ask him to pray for you if you are preparing to give birth, or you can ask him to pray for someone you know who is preparing to give birth. From Joy of Heaven, 
Thank you everyone. You may also make a novena, and we inviting you to please try to click the thanks button for your comment to have an amazing, colorful and wonderful animation. God bless us all. Oh, 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 oh.